hello everyone welcome to another video tutorial on the code angle youtube channel in my previous video i made a tutorial on how to import an external wordpress website into goi level and if you can remember the url we were given for that particular wordpress website was a random url and as you can see right here if i click on it you see we have a landing page that has an under construction theme being displayed right here so for this tutorial i want to customize the random url you have right here because this is not a url you can maybe tell someone uh or give to a client because it's not something they can remember it's not professional so you need a custom uh domain name to be configured uh into go high level so that's what i'm going to be showing us today i'll be showing us how we can configure a domain name into go high level now there are different domain platforms where you can get a domain name we have different ones like namecheap we've got blue we've got Ostinja, Ostgator and the likes. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making use of Ostinja. So I've already gone to the Ostinja website, which is hostinger.com. But because I'm currently on my dashboard, it's showing hpanel.ostinger.com. So for me to get a domain name, all I need to do is just to click on the domain tab and I'll be navigated to where I can get a domain name. Now I can now click on the sidebar right here, which is get a new domain. So once I click on that, I'll be navigated to where I can purchase a new domain. So because this tutorial is kind of um, experimental i'm going to get the cheapest domain i can one i can get for around 0.99 any domain with the extension of online or dot shop dot online or dot shop has a 0.99 subscription for an entire year so we can easily make use of that instead of using the dot com or the dot net or dot io which are much expensive but this tutorial is for educational purpose so i'm going to make use of a very uh cheap extension so we can just type in probably ghl which is goi level thoughts and i can just select um dot online and then click on search to check if it's available and that domain is available i can proceed to buy it for the entire year but what hostinger also does is it gives us various options of different extensions that are also available for instance you can see we have the dot shop which is also available for 0.99 we've got the dot org which is available for 7.99 but i think um probably i might just go with dot tech because it sounds fancy so i'm gonna click on buy domain and by this time i believe you'd have configured your credit card i already did that so the total here is 117 usd in total for the entire year and they disclose the amount for renewal that is for the following year is around 48.99 i won't have any need to just subscribe to this domain so this is just for this tutorial so i'm just gonna go along with this one year plan and then the 117 uh dollar price so i'm gonna click on complete payment so it's gonna start processing and after a while the process will be complete as you can see payment is successful now we have access to that domain and it's gonna ask for some information you can feel free to provide your information and then finish the registration so i just used my previous day and clicked on finish registration so that's going to propagate and will be directed to the dashboard of our domain so i'm going to click on continue and i'm going to click on skip i don't need a website they were trying to provide me with an hosting option but i don't need that so you can see on the left sidebar we have ghl thoughts dot tech so you can see the status of our domain is active the email verification status is verified it expires next year around this time which is may 12th and then we have a secret key which you don't want to expose on the internet and then other um configurations i explained there if you want to cancel the domain you can go ahead and click on that you can transfer lock you can and the who is privacy is also turned on to provide an extra layer of security probably someone wouldn't go online with this particular domain and then they'll start seeing your personal details i think that's very important so this particular configuration is important and it's free so we got a 10 host 10 host changer for that on the dns name servers on the right sidebar this is where we have business suites for us to configure the domain name into our uh, goi level instead of having this random uh text or random url we have right here so i'm gonna head back to the dashboard and we need to create different records okay what do i mean by this um when i click on this 
drop down we have different types of dns records we have the a we have the mx the the aaaa the c name the ns the srv and the txt for go high level we will be dealing with just two the first one is going to be the a record and as well as the txt record so how do you know how to deal with this let's head back to the go high level dashboard and i'm going to click on add domain right here and i need to grab the url of this domain which is dhlthoughts.tech i'm gonna grab that and then i'm gonna paste it in the domain box and i'm gonna click on add domain and as you can see it generates three files for us so we need to configure this in hostinger so i'm gonna head back to hostinger and i'm gonna select a txt a type of txt and i'm gonna grab this key right here i'm gonna paste it and then grab the value as well and i'm gonna paste it so i'm gonna add that record so that's the first txt record we've added as you can see right here and the second txt record i'm gonna grab the key and first i select the type as txt and then paste in the name as well as the value so i'm gonna paste it right here and i'm gonna click on add record then finally we can add the last record which is the a record so i'm gonna grab the ip address we have right here and the a record we already have the type of a and the name is at so we're just gonna point it to that particular ip address and i'm gonna click on add record and as you can see we have the three records added the first one is the first txt file we have the second txt file and then finally we have the a record right here so i'm gonna head back to go high level then i'm gonna click on this checkbox and the checkbox says i have added the above records in my domain provider's dns setting i'm gonna click on verify records so this is gonna verify the records are there and as you can see it says the domain is detected and automatically it sets this domain to primary so as you can see up here our primary domain is now ghlthoughts.tech and ghlthoughts.tech forward slash wp dash admin for the admin dashboard url but for now this might take a while before it propagates wait what do i mean by this if i go to this url i'm not sure it's going to show as this you might not be aware domain name configuration takes a while before it reflects it can take a whole day so um if you are doing this on your own you must exercise some patience and see um if it works after a day and if it takes longer than a day maybe you might want to reach out to the go high level support for additional help but basically this is how you try to configure your domain name you just have to impute the txt records provided by go high level as well as the a record save it in your domain provider service and then you confirm if it has been found on your domains section you have right here so if i click on the dns settings of this url you can see this green icon right here it shows we've done the right thing and go high level can confirm we now have an hosting provider pointing to this particular uh txt files we have right here so and before we go there's one more thing i want to try so i'm gonna click on this drop down and i'm gonna click on advanced settings and then i'm gonna click on manage caching and i'm gonna refresh cdn catch i think this might probably help us out because It says if your recent changes are not reflecting, this is probably because your changes are not propagated to every CDNs around the world. So maybe refreshing the CDN catch can help us get this domain to propagate faster. So I'm going to head back to the dashboard. Ideally, they say we should wait for five minutes for that to take effect. But for the sake of this tutorial, uh, we might not be able to do that. So I'll just try one more time to refresh this particular custom URL we got. And as you can see, it still shows that the site can't be reached. So this takes a lot of time before it propagates. So it's something we really need to be patient with. Ideally, it takes up to a day before it gets configured. But anyways, um, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, you can give the video a like and then subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. If not, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon.